This is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Good morning. We have made it together up to Friday. <laughs> Glad you're with us. I'm Ray Collins. I'm Stephanie Roberts. Great to be here. Happy Friday, everyone. I will say I do appreciate the cooler weather, but let's be honest, much harder to get out of the warm bed oh, when the I air know. is cool around you. Like, I keep thinking, what? why am I doing this at such a slow pace? Yeah, I know it. The bed is warm, John. The oh, bed is warm. Mitch, much sounder sleep, too, I think. I, yeah. Maybe that's it. <laughs> yeah, that that's might beautiful. be it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a good problem to have. All right, so you All know right. what? Over the weekend, we'll warm things up for you a little bit. How's oh, that? Great. Yeah? No? Ah, okay, we'll yes. cool them off next week. How's that? There you go. Okay. Just wait a day. It'll <laughs> That's right. It'll change. Uh, so temperatures this morning are indeed a little bit cooler than they were 24 hours ago by a degree or two. But this afternoon, they're going to warm up as we develop an easterly wind flow. So uh, Richard, one of our weather watchers in Northport, comes in with 59 degrees. We've got 58 in Sarasota, 61 Venice, Inglewood, the same. Longbow Key at 63 Bradenton at 55 degrees. Parish, 54 degrees. Across the region, not a drop of rain falls today. That's going to change over the weekend, though. We'll have that discussion in a moment. Daytime highs today, a little bit warmer, coming in near the 80 degree mark, but mostly sunny conditions means it's going to be a pretty nice day today. Talk all about the forecast in a few. Back to you. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you, John. Let's check the roads first off in Manatee County. A little blip there at 15th Street East, heading toward downtown Bradenton. Otherwise, pretty clear at this hour of the day. Look at uh, Sarasota. The Bayfront showing some action as you head uh, from 41 and stay on mound and head toward the Bayfront. Some issues there. Also, Clark Road in the eastbound lane around Beneva and South County. A little blip there at Center Road as you head north on US 41. It is 6.02 in our top story this hour. Some of the unanswered questions regarding the JFK assassination are going to remain unanswered for at least a little while longer. The government was expected to release more than 3,000 previously classified documents last night, but as John Lawrence tells us, a last-minute decision will keep hundreds of those locked away, at least for now. Thousands of records on the JFK assassination were made public Thursday night, but many are still classified. We only got a very small fraction of the of the secret documents that we were expecting. The White House says the files were redacted or held back because of recommendations from national security agencies. What I think is you had a last minute appeal, probably from Mike Pompeo, who uh, because of the National Security Act is responsible for the protections of sources and methods on the part of the executive branch. As for what was released, a lot of raw data. You think they would have put together something that was intelligible for the public, but they did not. Among the discoveries, the CIA considered mafia hits on Cuban President Fidel Castro, and the FBI received a phone call from a person who threatened to kill Lee Harvey Oswald one day before Kennedy's assassin was shot. There's a chance more information will be released in 2018. President Trump ordered government agencies to reconsider the redactions over the next five months. Trump will then have another month to review the agency's recommendations. The more material they hold back, the more suspicious people become that they're hiding something. But many historians who have studied the assassination don't expect any new bombshells. We still think it's a lone gun, gunman, but, you know, maybe he had encouragement, maybe there was money. I'm John Lawrence reporting. President Trump followed through on his promise to declare an emergency on opioids Thursday, but the action he took isn't what he had talked about previously. Trump said last week that he would declare a national emergency. That would free up money from FEMA to fight opioid overdoses. Instead, he ordered a public health emergency. That directs federal agencies to use grant money already in their budgets to combat the problem. My administration is officially declaring the opioid crisis a national public health emergency under federal law, and why I am directing all executive agencies to use every appropriate emergency authority to fight the opioid crisis. The president's order lasts 90 days and be can be continually renewed until he believes it is no longer needed. 64,000 Americans died from opioid overdoses last year. That has quadrupled the rate in 1999. An update now on a shooting at Grambling State University. Police have arrested a suspect who they believe shot and killed two students. Jalen Wayne is charged with first-degree murder in the deaths of Earl Andrews and Monacarius Caldwell. The sheriff's office took him into custody last night. He surrendered to law enforcement after learning there was a warrant for his arrest. Investigators believe the shooting occurred after a fight between Andrews and Wayne. At some point in the altercation, police say Wayne pulled a gun and fired. They say he apparently shot Caldwell as Caldwell was coming to Andrews' aid. 
Caught on camera, a 10-year-old Ohio boy leads police on a high-speed chase, at times reaching speeds of 100 miles per hour. The youngster was first being chased by his own mother. Then he led police through two counties. He was able to avoid troopers who tried to box him in by cutting through a ditch, but he got stuck there when he tried to re-enter the Ohio Turnpike. Highway Patrol said the boy tried to spit in several troopers' faces and kicked one in the chin as he was taken into custody. Remember, he is 10 years old. His mom says it's not the first time he's done it either, saying he took the car from the driveway just a few days ago. In consumer news, CVS reportedly in talks to buy the insurance company Aetna. According to the Wall Street Journal, Aetna could sell for $66 billion. Both companies declined to comment on what's being called market rumors, but that didn't stop investors. After the news broke yesterday, Aetna's shares rose by as much as 12%, but shares of CVS went down almost 3%. Uber is fending off accusations of an unfair work environment. Three Latina engineers are suing the rideshare company, claiming that Uber is in violation of the Equal Pay Act, alleging women and people of color were paid less than their white or Asian male colleagues. Two of the women left Uber this summer. One of them is still employed by the company. They're accusing Uber of using a stack ranking system for evaluating employees, evaluating them from worst to best. And coming soon to a theater near you, a ticket pricing test. Regal Entertainment is going to try demand-based pricing for movies at some of its theaters. You'll pay higher ticket prices for hit movies and less for flops. Movies playing at less popular times during the day would also cost less. If successful, the new pricing plan could give theaters a much-needed boost. Shares of Regal AMC, Cinemark, and big screen operators, uh, IMAX, have all fallen this year because of for box office sales. Happening in Florida, the state's hurricane fund may pay out as much as $5 billion. The Hurricane Catastrophe Fund released a statement yesterday saying it won't have to borrow any money. The financial health of the fund is important because the state can impose a surcharge on most insurance policies to replenish it if this money runs out. Some critics have called the surcharge a hurricane tax. The fund entered storm season in good financial shape, and new estimates conclude the fund could borrow up to $8 billion. The $5.1 billion claims estimate is preliminary, but actually say they based it on experience from previous hurricanes. Florida may require the state fund that provides backing to private insurers to pay up to $5.1 billion in claims. Well, it wasn't just pets, but Hurricane Maria also forced thousands of Puerto Rican residents into Florida. Governor Rick Scott says more than 73,000 people have arrived here in the past few weeks. State officials are providing aid to victims who have relocated to Florida as well as those who still remain in Puerto Rico. Last month, President Trump declared Puerto Rico a disaster area. FEMA estimates that the recovery will take several years. Plus, the hurricanes and earthquakes that ravaged the Gulf Coast and Caribbean in September forced American and Southwest Airlines to cancel a combined 13,000 flights. American canceled upwards of 8,000 flights due to Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria. That reduced the company's pre-tax earnings by $75 million in the third quarter alone. Southwest Airlines canceled 5,000 flights due to the hurricanes and earthquakes in Mexico, reducing their July through September revenue by $100 million. All told, the five biggest airlines canceled a total of 23,500 flights. This summer's hurricanes also took the fizz out of beer sales. Anheuser-Busch is blaming hurricanes Irma and Harvey for causing a big drop in sales. Bud Light and Stella Artois sales in the U.S. fell more than 5% in the third quarter. Those numbers are shocking since the drop came during the start of the football season and also start the, the start of the baseball playoff races. The problem may be that the beer snobs in this country are increasingly choosing fancier and pricier craft brews over established brands like Budweiser. I don't know if snob is a fair assessment. Maybe our tastes have just developed a little bit further. Evolved. That's right. <laughs> Evolved would be a good way to put it. It is 6.09 and we first told you about this story yesterday morning right here on Good Morning Sun Coast. Two dozen animals are waking up at a Bradenton animal shelter this morning after being displaced by Hurricane Maria. Our Rick Adams has more on the dogs and cats saved by Nate's Honor Animal Rescue. Well, a variety of dogs and cats are here now following a very long journey. And when they're ready, they will be made available for adoption. One by one, the crew at Nate's Honor Animal Rescue brought the 24 animals into their temporary home, an isolation barn at the shelter. 16 dogs, half of them pups, and eight cats displaced by Hurricane Maria made the long journey from St. Croix to Bradenton. We're very excited to, to see them and, and to 
care for them and to make sure that what they've been through is, is forgotten as quickly as possible. For at least the next two weeks, these animals will receive lots of attention and lots of TLC, making sure they are in good health and ready to be adopted. We have an, an AM and a PM shift that will be feeding, cleaning, medicating, um, giving love. A total of 51 homeless dogs and cats were taken to three animal shelters in Florida Thursday, including Nate's Honor Animal Rescue. Prior to their journey, they were cared for by the ASPCA and transported to Florida by Wings of Rescue. They look like they're in good condition. All of the animals that we're taking are owner surrenders, so they were people that lost their homes who could no longer care for their animals. So they, you know, were well cared for. They're not in rough shape. And for more information on when these dogs and cats will be made available for adoption, you can log on to our website at mysuncoast.com. Reporting from Bradenton, I'm Rick Adams, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Some well traveled dogs and cats. Absolutely. Yeah. But nice because, I mean, you think about the conditions there and the electricity oh, yeah. problems and yeah. the food problems and the potable water problems. Get the animals safe any way you can. Exactly. And, and, you know, Nate's has been a great animal rescue agency mm -hmm. over the last couple of years. They've really just come up from nothing to being a major force in yeah, uh, actually, helping the animals. They actually save animals that would probably be put yeah. down in other shelters due to overcrowding and things wow. like that. So That's they save great. from shelters, which is a neat concept. It's great. We have across our region some uh, changing weather this weekend. We'll talk about that in a minute or two. Also, first alert traffic, and we're learning more about what led up to that deadly ambush of the U.S. soldiers in Niger. We'll tell you what lawmakers still want answers about and why they say it still doesn't add up. Stay with us. Here's something we bet you didn't know. Nearly half of all cancers can be prevented. That's right, half nearly 50%, mostly by making small everyday changes in your diet and controlling your weight, walking more, eating less, and eating foods that help you and your family to seriously reduce the risk of cancer. And of course, by not smoking. Visit the Cancer Prevention Together We Can website and get a free 30-day planner filled with tips, recipes, stats, and more about protecting your family. Go to prevent50.org. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Enjoy fine wine, craft beer, and delicious foods, all while supporting a great cause at the 16th Annual Suncoast Food and Wine Festival presented by Publix, Saturday, November 11th, from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Sarasota Polo Club. Taste wines from around the world and sample cuisine from the area's finest restaurants. All proceeds benefit a variety of local charities and Rotary Club projects. For tickets and information, visit suncoastfoodandwinefest.com. It's no small wonder anybody loves it all. I just love art that moves me. No small I mean really moves me. Wow. Sunset Fiat of Sarasota presents No Small Wonder. High performance style. Let the art of Fiat move you. Listen to this important message. If you owe money to the IRS, you will want to hear this. Penalties and interest compound daily on your back taxes, putting you under a mountain of debt. Tax 10,000 has years of experience connecting people with tax resolution specialists. Working through the IRS Fresh Start program, they will handle all the necessary forms, and if you qualify, you may end up saving thousands of dollars. Call Tax 10,000 at 800-817-1064. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Now 
Now your ABC7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So 58 degree air temperature dew point coming in at 51. We may see that dew point drop into the 40s this morning, maybe just very briefly, but then we're going to watch that wind out of the east northeast shift to a more dew easterly flow and that's going to bring humidity back as we head into the afternoon. It's going to uh, keep our nighttime temperatures a little bit warmer tonight and it's going to give us an afternoon temperature that'll be a little bit warmer than it was 24 hours ago with uh, probably around 81 degrees, 82 degrees for a daytime high in most locations, a little bit warmer perhaps in inland locations. 55 right now, Wachula, Arcadia at 53, Venice 59, Bradenton, you've got 56 degrees there. Northport comes in at 54, Parrish at 56, Boca Grande, the warm spot at 62. So we have a couple of things going on in the forecast. One, this high pressure ridge, which we have been enjoying all week, bringing us just this delightful weather, will retreat just a little bit and shift our winds around to the east as it moves into the Atlantic. Two, a frontal boundary will be approaching. That frontal boundary will start to trigger off showers out in Gulf water stretching up through the mid-Atlantic region as we head into the afternoon. And then four, this area of tropical showers and thunderstorms, which could actually have some development, some organization beginning to occur as we head into the afternoon hours and maybe into tomorrow. It will lift northward across Cuba, producing heavy rainfall there and spread its showers through the state of Florida as it moves into the Atlantic. South Florida particularly could see several inches of rainfall with this system, but even for us here in west central Florida, we could see an increase in cloud cover starting tomorrow, plus better chances of afternoon showers, maybe a few thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, and then particularly Saturday night into Sunday day. Then Sunday, the front moves through, clears it out, and we start next work week with some nice, clean, crisp air, just like we have had over the last several days. 50% chance of development with this system according to the Hurricane Center, but even if it does, the development would be minimal. And then as it starts to lift north, the upper level winds associated with this frontal boundary will just rip it to pieces. So basically, it's going to be a moisture maker for us starting Saturday afternoon, and then the front moves through Sunday with a few scattered showers around so early Sunday morning. So that's your forecast. The good news is that by next week, we'll start to see that dry, cool, crisper air move in so that Halloween looks like it'll be pretty nice. East wind coming in at about 10 to 15 today. Now, boaters, Sunday, as that low moves off the Atlantic coast, our winds could pick up a little bit, despite the fact that we clear out. On Tuesday, sunny, well, kind of a little on the warm side, I suppose, upper 70s, but it could be much worse. It has been on Halloween. And nighttime lows in the 50s, so it should be pretty nice after sunset. Back to you guys. All right, looking good. Thank you very much, John. Looking at the roadways this morning, very, very quiet for a Friday morning. No problems in Manatee County right now. Palmetto bridges look good. A little bit of volume on Fruitville getting on I-75 as well as getting off I-75 at Clark Road. But the expressway itself, accident and delay free all the way into South County. It is 619, and we are getting new information on the mission that led U.S. troops into a deadly ambush in Niger. Reporter Jim Shuto has the latest. Senators newly briefed on the Niger ambush are raising the alarm that the U.S. troops may not have had adequate resources to defend themselves. I am deeply concerned that we are failing to provide our troops in harm's way with the resources they need, particularly in intelligence, reconnaissance, and surveillance which may be reflected in this tragic incident. CNN has learned that U.S. and Nigerian forces killed 20 of an estimated 50 ISIS fighters who attacked, but they had no armed U.S. air support. The U.S. drone that did arrive overhead was not armed. The government of Niger has not yet given the U.S. permission to strike. And more than three weeks after the ambush, lawmakers say it is still a mystery as to why Sergeant LaDavid Johnson, one of the four U.S. soldiers killed, was missing for 48 hours. They do not have an answer from headquarters uh, as to why it was 48 hours until they could uh, locate and retrieve Sergeant Johnson's body. Why did it take 48 hours to <clears throat> recover Mr. Johnson's body? The emerging timeline of the ambush paints a picture of changing missions and betrayal by local residents. On October 3rd, one day before the attack, 
the U.S. soldiers were on a patrol with Nigerian forces who they were advising. While on that mission, the Nigerian soldiers were ordered to act as a quick reaction force in case another Nigerian unit encountered difficulty in a planned operation to capture or kill a known ISIS leader. That mission, however, was canceled when U.S. intelligence assets observed the terror leader leave his encampment in Niger and cross the border into neighboring Mali. U.S. soldiers were then given a new task, to survey the encampment and collect intelligence on the leader. The next day, on their way back to their base, the troops stopped in a village near Tongo Tongo so the Nigerian forces could replenish their supplies. As they left that village, the troops drove into the deadly ambush. Investigators now believe that residents had tipped off ISIS to their presence. The question that I'm most interested in is how did uh, such a well-executed attack occur? It, I, I think it clearly would have required some advanced planning, and that would have required knowledge about where our troops would be. 621 right now still ahead. New video is out of a possible suspect involved in the recent Tampa killings. We'll tell you why police hope this video will help them stop more violence from happening. Stay with us. The Alfa Romeo Stelvio takes the modern compact luxury crossover and injects it with personality. Every crossover should be this good to drive. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now. Make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-628-1251. 800-628-1251. You need a good laugh? Starting November 1st at the Player Center, everything that can go wrong does go wrong in the smash hit comedy, Moon Over Buffalo. This wild Broadway series production shows what happens both on stage and off. Contact the players at 365-2494 or at theplayers.org. The show must go on with Moon Over Buffalo. I went in skeptical and came away impressed. Stelvio can spring from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds, a segment best. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Pretty shot there. Rosemary District looking toward downtown Sarasota. John says it should be a beautiful Friday. Absolutely. A clear start and cool temperatures this morning, but a little bit of a warm up this afternoon. So enjoy your Friday. We'll do Facebook Friday Live at 8 o'clock this morning. Go to our ABC7 page and we'll have some fun behind-the-scenes looks and also see you tomorrow, hopefully, 
at the Age Friendly Festival at Roberts Arena on Fruitville. Who better to send to the Age Fest Festival than me? That's I can't think of anybody <laughs> more age friendly than you. But lots of great events going on this weekend. So do post your pictures for us. We can't uh, wait to see them. It is 625 and investigators are releasing new surveillance video showing a person of interest in their search for a possible serial killer in Seminole Heights in Tampa. Victor Oquendo has the latest. In this morning's GMA First Look, new video police are hoping will help them stop a possible serial killer. A hooded figure police are calling a person of interest seen running from the scene of Benjamin Mitchell's October 9th murder seconds after he was killed. I've come up with four reasons why this person is running. One, they may be late for dinner. Two, they're out exercising. Three, they heard gunshots. And number four, they just murdered Benjamin Mitchell. Mitchell killed near his home. Monica Hoffa and Anthony Naivoa also shot and killed over the next 10 days. This is the spot where Benjamin Mitchell was gunned down. That new surveillance video came from all over this area, and police say they have a lot more to go through. And coming up at 7 a.m., more details on the community on edge as police search for a killer. With your GMA First Look, I'm Victor Okendo, ABC News, Florida. When I walked through a snowstorm for a cigarette, that's when I knew I had to quit for real this time. That's why I'm using Nicorette. Only Nicorette gum has patented dual-coated technology for great taste plus intense craving relief. Every great why needs a great how. Mom would always say you go to Burlington when you need a new coat. I love the jewelry. They have everything for the baby. Dresses. Shoes and socks. Sweaters. Great fragrances. All the great brands at a fraction of the cost. It's Burlington Coat Factory. It's just Burlington. Oh, <laughs> Burlington. When your skin is feeling dry and crinkly, time for Gold Bond Healing Lotion. Penetrates 10 surface layers deep with seven moisturizers, three vitamins. Skin is nourished, healed, healthy looking. Gold Bond Healing, ultimate lotion, ultimate skin. According to Feng Shui, the bed should face northeast. On it. You're trying everything to get pregnant. New one a day couples pack gives you both nutritional support you may need. For her to prepare for a healthy baby and for him to support healthy sperm. Be in it together. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. Attention type 2 diabetics. The FDA warns of an increased risk of amputation associated with certain diabetes medications. If you took the diabetes medications Invokana or Invokamet and then suffered an amputation or one of these other serious injuries, call the Rely On group right now. If you've suffered amputation or any of these other injuries after taking your diabetes medication, call the Rely On group today. You may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-604-1698. That's 800-604-1698. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru is the best overall brand for two years running and the most trusted brand for three years running, according to Kelly Blue Books, KBB.com. Right now, you can lease one of Subaru's most versatile vehicles, the Subaru Crosstrek, for as little as $199 a month or get 2.9% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. Medicare's annual election period has begun. If you already have Medicare, new benefits may now be available with no co-pays, no deductibles, or $0 premiums. Call now to speak to a licensed insurance agent who can help guide you step-by-step -step through a free analysis of the benefits available to you. And you may be eligible for plans that even include additional coverage for dental, vision, and prescription drugs. MedicareAdvantage.com searches thousands of insurance plans from leading insurance companies. We'll We'll help you find plans that may cost you less, cover more benefits, and give you more choices, like home delivery of your prescriptions, gym memberships, and even over-the-counter allowances.
substances for everyday needs, like antacid, allergy medicine, vitamins, and even toothpaste. Don't miss the deadline to enroll. It's time to get more out of Medicare. Call 800-579-3380. That's 800-579-3380. 800-579-3380. Call now. Check out My Sun Coast Dining on MySunCoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC 7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step videos, and Sun Coast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySunCoast.com slash dining. Coming up on Good Morning Sun Coast, increased security at Sarasota High School today after police uncover a threat on social media. We'll tell you what they're saying to the girl who made the concerning post. Tiger Woods expected to be in a Florida courtroom today to give his plea in a DUI arrest from back in May. We'll tell you what he's expected to say. And it's the weekend before Halloween. There is so much going on right here on the Sun Coast. We'll talk about some family-friendly events coming up. All that and more right now on Good Morning Sun Coast. Live from the ABC 7 studios, this is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. It is 631 on a Friday morning. Welcome back. I'm Stephanie Roberts. And I'm Ray Collins. Should be a beautiful day, but John says it starts to get a little dicey by tomorrow. Yeah, but only sort of dicey. We're going to go sort with of. the optimism as we yes. head into what is a very big weekend on many levels, sports, spooky events. We've got it all going on, John. So we tell do. us we're not looking at too much rain in the forecast. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> it's not going to be all that bad. It really isn't. Uh, we will see uh, probably starting off with a sunny sky tomorrow morning, or at least a partly sunny sky. Then the clouds may roll in a little bit later on in the afternoon. Most of the day will be spent rain-free. There will be some scattered showers building, and then it will get a little bit wetter for a brief period of time. We'll talk about that coming up in a few. Right now, we have temperatures across the region that are generally a few degrees cooler than they were 24 hours ago. Cooper. And one of our youngest weather watchers in central Sarasota reported in with 58 degrees. And Richard in Northport had 51. Becky in Old Mayaka. Hey, Becky. Had 51 degrees. She had 47 yesterday. She's actually a few degrees warmer. And in fact, as we head into the afternoon, we will be warmer still with daytime highs probably close to the 80 degree mark. We have across the region right now not a drop of rain falling, so it'll be a beautiful day as the sun rises here on the Sun Coast. And as we head into the afternoon, you can expect a nice warm afternoon with shifting winds out of the east, bringing a little bit more humidity back our way. We'll talk about that weekend forecast in detail in just a few minutes. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you, John. Talk to you soon. Checking first alert traffic now. A little issue there on University as you get around the mall and uh, Cooper Creek and I-75. Be aware of that little buildup. Let's check farther south now. We'll see some problems on Fruitville and the westbound lane and B Ridge and the eastbound. I just cleared up as I said it. That's magical. And also uh, Clark Road toward the interstate. South County checking mostly clear at 633 on your Friday morning. Topping our news this half hour, students will see a strong presence on social media of police at the uh, Arizona High School campus today. This comes after school security and police were tipped off to what they believe was a threat made on social media. A student first reported seeing a message on Snapchat that included a threat toward the school. Uh, police found the girl who they say posted the message, but they say they have no additional information to support any type of threat. Despite that, as a safety precaution, police will be on campus today. This is a threat comes only one week after a student brought a gun on a Sarasota County school bus last week, causing six schools going to lockdown. We'll keep you updated on the story throughout the day right here on ABC7. Law enforcement will continue searching parts of Sarasota today as the hunt for a missing teen continues. 14-year-old Javez Span has been missing since September 4th when he was last seen playing near his grandmother's home in Sarasota. The FBI, Sarasota police, and other law enforcement officials spent the day yesterday going around parts of Newtown as well as a North Water Tower Park area. Law enforcement spoke with people who live in the neighborhoods just trying to get some helpful tips to find Span. Currently there is a $25,000 reward being offered for information that leads authorities to that missing teen. It's vital. Um, it's, you know, we're at this point we're looking for any information we can get, get our hands on to help point us in the right direction. Since this is an ongoing investigation, Sarasota police say they can't release information on what they have found so far this week. If you have any information regarding Jabez Span's appearance, you are asked to contact authorities immediately. 635 right now. The Sun Coast will be part of Amazon's pilot program that lets delivery drivers into the home when you're not there. Amazon Key starts next month. 
Prime members can have packages from Amazon dropped just inside their door if they want, instead of on the porch, which could be in the way of uh, would-be thieves. The service also allows users to grant temporary access to guests or professional service providers like dog walkers or cleaners. To use that service, customers will need to buy an Amazon Key in-home kit that includes security cameras and a compatible smart door lock, which starts at about $250. A Prime membership will cost you about $99 a year. The Buy High Hut in Sarasota is undergoing major renovations, and the business has hired a local carver to create art from the trees they are cutting down. Jeff Chouinard is known across the Sun Coast for his tiki's, his driftwood carvings, and oceanic art. The Buy High Hut wants to display his work in the bar once they reopen. These pieces back behind me are actually trees we cut down in the parking lot there, Washingtonian Palm. And uh, so they're actually going to have tiki's made from the trees we cut down in the parking lot. The artist says the tiki's are being made from Marcazan tiki's, which can be found on islands like Taiwan. Happening in Florida, Governor Scott is directing state transportation officials to find ways to increase fuel capacity during emergencies like hurricanes. The governor says he wants to be sure families and visitors have the resources they need to safely prepare and evacuate during times of emergencies. Last month, almost 7 million Floridians evacuated in preparation of Hurricane Irma, the largest evacuation in U.S. history. Scott says increasing the availability of fuel for evacuations at gas stations should be a top priority. A Florida prosecutor is now having to seek the death penalty after losing a legal battle with Governor Scott over her previous blanket policy against executions. State Attorney Aramis Alaya's spokesperson confirmed that a seven-member panel of prosecutors agreed that the death penalty should be sought for Ayala's current case. She previously announced she would stop seeking the death penalty completely. Governor Scott then reassigned her death penalty cases to another state prosecutor. Golfer Tiger Woods is set to appear in a Palm Beach County courtroom today. Woods will appear on DUI charges after his original appearance was rescheduled. He is expected to plead guilty to reckless driving and enter a DUI first offender program. He was arrested back in May after Jupiter police found him unconscious in his parked car. Woods had no alcohol in his system. The golfer has said he was taking prescription medication related to his back injuries at the time. 6.37 right now, we all know the kids love teddy bears, but a child care center in Orlando got an unexpected visit from a group of live bears on Thursday. Watch this. It's quite a coincidence that this place is actually called the Teddy Bear Child Care. Three bears, one adult, two cubs, seen in a tree across the street. The daycare owner uh, got her cell phone video going and saw the bears roaming around up and down the trees. The owner says that the wildlife officials told her that the pet food bowls placed outside and the large number of uncovered garbage cans are easy bear food resources in the neighborhood. They're trying to move over to the, where um, more food is because they're trying to hibernate for the winter. So they're really active right now and after that they'll go back over there and you won't see them. Well, FWC hopes that garbage pickup will thin the bears food supply there. In the meantime, south of the Sun Coast in Key West, they are shrugging off Hurricane Irma with their annual Fantasy Fest celebration continues this weekend. Key's tourism revenues have been down since Irma pummeled the island chain last month. Tourism brings in nearly three billion dollars a year and visitor related jobs make up more than half the workforce in the Keys. So tonight there's a masquerade party planned and tomorrow is the popular Fantasy Fest Parade. Happening today on the Sun Coast, Oniko Elementary is hosting a school-wide garden party. The school was recently named a green school by Keep Manatee Beautiful. A ribbon-cutting ceremony will also take place during the event. The school's garden was completely removed during the summer and recently rebuilt. Happening tonight, students from the Manatee School for the Arts will be collecting food for the needy. The school's fourth annual Halloween food drive called Food for the Souls is from 6 to 9. They hope to get at least 2,500 non-perishable items to be donated from the community. If you would like to be a part of the Food for Souls event, bring a non-perishable item as an entrance fee, and it's worth two tickets to play games and win prizes. And two more items happening today. The fifth annual Trunk or Treat event will be held at the Robert L. Taylor Community Complex, families are encouraged to decorate the trunks of their cars and pass out candy. 
prizes we're giving out for the best decorations and best costumes. You can go to the Taylor Complex today, 5.30 to 7.30, to take part in this fun event. And in Northport, City Hall will close at 4 p.m. ahead of their annual trick-or-treating event. Each year, city employees decorate the building to offer a safe Halloween experience for local families. The city is asking residents to bring a canned good or non-perishable food item to donate to a local food pantry and kick off the annual holiday food drives. The free event goes from 5 to 8, so be sure to come out and enjoy all the holiday fun today in Northport. Don't forget to update your uh, breaking news app on your phone. If you are on the iPhone or iPad, you need to download our new update. Go to the App Store and search for WWSB or My Sun Coast. Android users will get the new version automatically. And lots of other great fall events. Uh, Hunt Sater Farms continues this yeah. weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a good weekend for family events, adult events, trick-or-treat events. Lots of stuff going yeah, on. Absolutely. And, you know, I think but for the most part, the weather is going to cooperate for the first half of the day on Saturday. Uh, second half of the day on Saturday into Sunday, maybe a little bit dicey. We'll talk about that. There's still time to get to Key West, isn't there, John? <laughs> yes. Those would be the adult Halloween events. Yes. <laughs> Friday night football dry tonight, too, it sounds like. That's right. Yeah. So that's great. great. All right, looking forward to the weekend. Still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast. Of course, another check of first alert traffic. And heart disease is the number one killer across the United States. But we'll tell you why a new CDC report may mean some good news for people with bad cholesterol when we come back. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. Watch ABC7 wherever you are. Just search ABC7 on your streaming device to keep up with the Suncoast from the comfort of your couch. Download ABC7 now to watch us on TV anytime you want. ABC7, we're here for you wherever you are. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. 58 degree air temperature, dew point coming in at 51. We have an east-northeast wind at about 8, and that east-northeast wind will be turning a little bit more easterly and helping to boost our temperatures up today to slightly above where they were 24 hours ago, or rather slightly above yesterday's daytime high, which was 74. So we'll probably today get a close, pretty close to the 80 degree mark, I think. Uh, Wachula coming in at 56, Arcadia 54, 54, 55 in Mayaka, Parish at 58, so is Bradenton and Venice and Sarasota. 
Down to the south a little bit, Northport comes in at 54 and Punta Gorda comes in at 55. So, a couple of things going on. We're watching tropical moisture lift northward out of the Caribbean. We're watching a cold front advance in this direction. And in response to both of those features, high pressure retreats into the Atlantic. That brings us an easterly wind flow today, transports Atlantic moisture across the state. Then as this cluster of showers and thunderstorms down to the south in a system that has a the 50 50 chance of developing over the next 24 hours, probably into something like a, a, a tropical depression or maybe just a tropical disturbance. It lifts north uh, across the um, uh, across Cuban uh, Island and then toward the Florida Straits, eventually out into the Atlantic, but close enough to the state of Florida to spread some of its moisture across the state. That'll occur Saturday afternoon, probably late afternoon for us, but Saturday afternoon. Then, on Saturday night into Sunday, the cold front advances closer to us, approaches, and brings us a line of showers. So, the combination of the two spells pretty good chances of seeing some rainfall at some point over the weekend. Most likely, Saturday night into Sunday. Today, though, sunny, a little bit warmer, nice day, lower relative humidity still. Clouds around beginning tomorrow afternoon. They'll, you'll notice them start to build, working in that rain chance tomorrow afternoon. 2, 3, 4 o'clock, you'll probably see some showers around, and then overnight a better chance, and then the front moves past on Sunday and we start to see some clearing. 50% chance of development with that system, but it won't develop much as it lifts north. It's going to encounter some strong winds from this front, so even if there is some development here, it's going to get just torn apart as it lifts further to the north and quickly pushed out into the Atlantic. But a few of its storms will move across the state, especially the southern tip, heading south over the course of the weekend, yeah, there could be three to four inch rainfalls in the southern tip of the state, so be aware of that. East wind coming in at about 10 to 15 knots today. Not a bad day for boating, actually. Light chop out there. Maybe the sea's a bit elevated at two to three feet. We'll look for that chance of rain Saturday into Sunday. The front comes through, and next week looks nice, actually. The, uh, the, uh, hol the uh, Halloween Evening, we'll probably see a uh, fairly clear sky and some relatively low humidity, which is always nice for the trick-or-treaters. Back to you. All right, looks good. Thank you very much, John. Looking at the roadways this morning, still having pretty quiet conditions in Bradenton. Building volume up and down 301, I-75 moving well at this early hour. Looks good in Sarasota, volume in both directions across Fruitville Road. A little bit of volume eastbound on Beaveridge. Clark is moving well, and again, no problems on the expressway. And in South County, no accidents or delays. It is 647 and in this hour's Health Smart, heart disease is the number one killer of Americans. Every year, 790,000 Americans will have a heart attack. But as ABC Sarita Marshall tells us, a new CDC report has some good news. Cholesterol for many of us, a nagging number that our doctors keep bugging us about. Whether we like it or not, high cholesterol levels are one of the leading risk factors for cardiovascular disease. Medications, diet, exercise and lifestyle changes can alter it. And now a new report from the CDC suggests that more of us are getting the message about these healthy steps. Researchers finding that levels of total cholesterol in U.S. adults have decreased since the late 90s. The rate of American adults living with high cholesterol went from nearly 1 in 5 to 1 in 8. And as for the good HDL cholesterol, the kind you want to have high levels of, researchers finding more Americans with healthy numbers in this category. This means more Americans are protected from the heart-harming effects of bad cholesterol. And while researchers aren't sure whether medications or lifestyle changes are the reason for the improvement, it goes to show that we can all take steps to improve our cholesterol. With this Medical Minute, I'm Serena Marshall, ABC News. Entertainment news now. Harvey Weinstein going to court against the company he co-founded. His attorneys filed a lawsuit in Delaware against the Weinstein Company in a bid to obtain personnel and employment records from the film studio. The suit claims if Weinstein can examine the information, he can more efficiently assist the company in defending against claims. When Weinstein's lawyer previously made his demands, the Weinstein Company denied access to all but the code of conduct. George Clooney giving $1 million to fight corruption and war crimes in Africa. The money is going to The Sentry, a group that Clooney co-founded to monitor and expose the financial networks behind African conflicts. Clooney said, our focus is to make sure that war crimes don't pay. And Lincoln Park will hold a special tribute to honor late singer 
Chester Bennington in Los Angeles tonight. Lincoln Park and friends are honoring Bennington at the Hollywood Bowl, which can also be streamed live for free on YouTube. The show will make the first time the band has been together since Bennington took his own life this past summer. 10 to 7 right now, still ahead, your day's top local news headlines, and a double amputee war veteran has set a very ambitious goal. We'll tell you how one man is running over 30 marathons in a month for a good cause. Stay with us. The Alfa Romeo Stelvio takes the modern compact luxury crossover and injects it with personality. Every crossover should be this good to drive. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Did you know that Sarasota County was the first in Florida to be recognized as an age-friendly community? Whether you're 22 or 82, we strive to be the best place to live, work, and play. A community rich with opportunities and things to do for people of all ages. On Saturday, October 28th, we're advancing this movement with a free community event featuring live entertainment and hands-on experiences. You won't want to miss our entire community coming together for an age-friendly festival presented by the Patterson Foundation. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. The kitchen is where life happens. Minnesota Flooring now offers a wide variety of beautiful quality craft-made cabinetry to make sure the heart of your home reflects your style. Visit us today at our new kitchen and bath cabinetry locations. If you have Medicare, I have three things you'll want to hear. There's an all-in-one Medicare Advantage plan from Humana. It includes Medicare Part D prescription drug coverage, and it may save you money in so many ways. It's all in this book, and it's yours free just for calling. You'll see all the ways the plan might save you money, even on prescription drugs. In fact, last year, Humana Medicare Advantage prescription drug plan members saved an estimated $6,500 on average on their prescription costs. And you get all this coverage with an affordable monthly plan premium, and in some areas, no plan premium. Even if you've looked at Humana before, you need to take another look at this plan. We'll send you the decision guide absolutely free, in a slightly smaller size, of course. Discover the all-in-one Medicare Advantage plan that could cut your costs and cover your prescriptions. Call 1-800-824-8241. Or go to HumanaBigBook.com. The savings are too big to miss. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. ABC7 is the most watched, most trusted news source on the Sun Coast, and we owe it all to you, our loyal viewers. Thank you for making us number one. I went in skeptical and came away impressed. Stelvio can spring from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds, a segment best. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. It is 6.53 on a Friday morning. Here are some of the top stories we're following for you on the Sun Coast today. Extra security will be on hand at Sarasota High School this morning. This comes after police discovered a social media threat. They have since found the girl they say was responsible. Two dozen animals rescued during Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico have now arrived at a Lakewood Ranch shelter. The dogs and cats will be put up for adoption soon at Nate's Honor Animal Rescue. And three bears gave parents and students quite the scare. After they turned up at a daycare in Orlando, wildlife experts say the chilly weather is causing the bears to be on the move before hibernation. Checking out traffic, we'll see how you can get on the move this morning. Things <laughs> moving pretty well in Bradenton, little volume 301 at a university there. But other than that, things looking great down I-75. A little bit of a slow start to the morning commute. I said it was hard to get out of bed. I may not be alone in that thought because uh, we have good <laughs> conditions, Fruitville, Beer Ridge, and Clark Roads. I-75 accident delay free all the way through South County. John? 
Indeed, a nice, cool, crisp morning, but by afternoon, watch for temperatures to be a little bit warmer than they were 24 hours ago. And I think you'll notice an increase in humidity this evening as well as winds turn east. Daytime high in the low 80s to near 80. Then over the next two days, Saturday and Sunday, watch for an increase in cloud cover. Second half of the day on Saturday, working in that chance of showers Saturday afternoon as well, with best chance Saturday night into Sunday, clearing second half of Sunday, followed by some Cool, crisp weather for the beginning of next work week. Well, this story is hard to believe. A double amputee war veteran is halfway done with his goal of running 31 marathons in 31 days in 31 cities. That's logistically challenging. Rob Jones lost both of his legs to a landmine in Afghanistan. He began his challenge in England October 12th. He passed the halfway mark in Seattle yesterday. Other runners have joined in as well. Jones says he's doing it in honor to the, of the sacrifice of U.S. service members. He also wants to raise money for wounded veterans charities. His last marathon will be on Veterans Day, the 11th of next month in Washington, D.C. That'll inspire you. That is absolutely amazing. Extraordinary. With two legs, zero legs, any legs, that's a cardio amazement. <laughs> he began in England, flew to our, this country, and then the next day or the same day. I mean, that's logistically very challenging. Right. He's not sleeping a lot with doing all that running. No. So, well, good for him. Nothing oh, like wow. the power of will. Coming up, good morning, America. Enjoy your weekend, folks. See you at noon.